Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about different types of pap therapy and the indications for those types of pap therapy. So you may have heard of CPAP, AutoPAP, BiPAP, BiPAP-ST, ASV. There are several different types of therapy, and sometimes that can be confusing for people. So the most common type of therapy that people have heard of is CPAP. So CPAP stands for Continuous Positive Airway Pressure, and that's your basic type of therapy. Now, a lot of people have heard of AutoPAP, or, or they've heard or read online or have had a doctor talk about AutoPAP therapy and think that that might be a better type of therapy. AutoPAP therapy is mostly for diagnostic re purposes. Um, we use it to determine optimal pressures for patients. The way autopap therapy works is the machine actually adjusts up and down through the night and the machine will sit at a median pressure. The way that the median pressure works is it sits below optimal pressure and that pressure kind of it kind of sits there all night and then as soon as you're having apneas the machine's going to push optimal pressure. Now the problem with that is it does allow for apneas to occur. So it does allow for um, residual apneas. It allows for people to have sleep disruption through the night. So ultimately we want to set that machine at a set pressure, which is why CPAP is generally optimal. If you're on autopap therapy, your sleep physician will likely switch you to a set pressure on your CPAP. And so you, you have the two different types of, PAP there, of CPAP therapy, CPAP, AutoPAP. Um, you also have bilevel therapy or BiPAP therapy. Now BiPAP has several indications. It could be that you did not tolerate CPAP. If you don't tolerate CPAP or you haven't tolerated AutoPAP therapy because you couldn't tolerate the pressure, the excellent exhaling against the pressure or possibly you were swallowing a lot of air you might have had some chest pain um, those are indications that you might do better on a BiPAP machine or a bi-level machine um, another indication might be that you're at a really high pressure on high pressures sometimes people do better on a bi-level device bi-level devices use two different pressures one higher pressure on inhalation and a lower pressure on exhalation. So that mimics natural breathing and the body generally does better with bi-level devices whenever you're having trouble with that back pressure when, with CPAP. Now you have a better understanding of the difference between a CPAP device and a bi-level device.